Hi everyone, and welcome back to Cinity. For this episode, we'll be taking a look at Meg 2, The Trench. It is the sequel to the 2018 film, The Meg, and based on the popular novel series by Steve Alt, Ben Wheatley replaces John Turtletop as the director for this film, and Dean Georgeris and the Hober brothers return as the screenwriters for the film. Lorenzo Di Bonaventura and Bell Avery return as producers without Colin Wilson, and Jason Statham returns as the main star for the film. Also starring are Wu Jing, Sophia Kai, Paige Kennedy, Sergio Paris Menchetta, Skylar Samuels, Cliff Curtis, and Sienna Giller. Five years after the events of the first film, Jonas Taylor is involved in fighting environmental crimes while also working with Model One to explore further deep into the Mariana Trench where the Megalodons have been found. Sun Yin Zhang had sadly passed away, so Jonas was in charge of taking care of her daughter, Mei Ying. He raised her alongside Mei Ying's uncle, Jemaine, and they had a Megalodon named Haiki in captivity, and Jemaine had been training Haiki very well. Jonas and his crew went down into the trench, and Mayang just so happened to sneak into the submarine. And they ended up being followed by a high key, who happened to escape from captivity. And then they discovered an illegal mining operation in the trench. And then it was discovered that this mission ended up being a setup. Jess, one of the employees at Mana One, just so happened to be a traitor. Jonas, Mayang, and some of the crew did manage to escape. However, they did leave a big gap open for a lot of dangerous creatures, including Haiki and two bigger megalodons who just so happened to mate with her. Those creatures go over to a nearby resort called Fun Island and they attack on the resort and the people over there. But Jonas and his team managed to save the day. All the creatures were killed except for High Key. Our heroes realized that it was Megalodon main season. That was why High Key escaped, and they assumed that she was going to be pregnant with a child. But they decide not to think about it for now, and just celebrate their survival. Critics hated this film, but the audience think it was okay. Me, I say it was pretty good. It was pretty entertaining to watch, and because of that, I'm going to give the film Eight stars out of time. So that's my review on Meg 2 The Trench. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you next time on Cineview.